It's the Royals Report, and we're learning new details of baby Archie's private christening. You may have seen these adorable photos shared online. Yes, we finally got a chance to see his face. The littlest royal was christened Saturday at Windsor Castle's private chapel. It was a very private ceremony, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Instagram page, uh, they thank the people on their page, rather, for celebrating uh, this special moment. So BBC Royals correspondent Johnny Diamond is with us now. So, yeah, you know, it was a private affair but we had that beautiful shot with all the family, except we still don't know who the godparents are. Um, what's up with that? Well, there is more that we don't know than we really do know about this christening. You've used the word private three times. I'll keep on saying it. It was pretty much secret, to be honest. Guests were shuttled in and out. We don't know who the godparents are. We know one or two things, and some of it through those rather lovely photos that were released by the Duke and Duchess after the ceremony. For example, the memory of Lady Diana Spencer, Diana, Princess of Wales, Harry's mother, that was kept alive because two of her sisters were at the ceremony and were in the photos standing behind the Duke and Duchess in one of those photos. We know that water from the River Jordan in the Middle East was used in the baptismal font and we know that the shawl that young Archie was wrapped in was an exact replica of the royal christening gown commissioned by Queen Victoria back in 1841. But beyond that, nearly everything else was kept under wraps. Hmm. So the Duke and Duchess have received some backlash from the public. Uh, whose tax money obviously goes to support the royal family, uh, but they're not able to see the christening. So tell us about that criticism uh, as they try to raise Archie as a private citizen, but they're publicly funded. Most of their right. activities are publicly funded. And some funded. have said, I mean, I don't know where Archie is in line for the throne. You would know, you keep track of those numbers. <laughs> but some have said that, you know, perhaps we should know who the godparents are because the public, not we here, but your public, they have a right to know who's going to have influence over someone who is in potential line, line to the throw. throw yeah. Yeah. Vlad and Marie, this is a problem as old as the hills for the royal family. There is insatiable interest in what they do. They want to retain some degree of privacy. Publicity keeps them relevant. But it's a particular problem for Harry and Meghan. Harry has long-standing hostility towards the media. Meghan appears to agree with it, and both of them seem to have agreed that they want young Archie brought up privately. The problem is exactly what you say. A lot of taxpayers' money has been spent renovating a new property for them, more than $3 million. And that means that a lot of citizens in the UK are saying, what are they getting for their money? It's something they're going to have to work out as the years progress. These are early days. But it has to be said, it's not been a great event for Harry and Meghan. And they did receive a whole bucket load of bad publicity in the days afterwards. And you can kind of sort of sympathize with them. It's their child, right? So, so I sort of understand why you've got to sort of strike a balance. But then we have Meghan Markle. Now, I feel like I'm, you know, dogging her. I'm really not. <laughs> but, you know, she goes to Wimbledon yeah. and then everyone's told that they're not allowed to take photos and you know it got a little weird. Yeah, it was a pretty tough moment, actually. Uh, so both the Duchess of Cambridge, that's Kate, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, went to Wimbledon this week. And for Kate, it was, well, one of those rather lovely occasions, all smiles, charming nearly everybody. She sat first of all in one of the outer courts and then went into the royal box. It was a different experience, however, for Meghan, because she went to court one to see her friend Serena Williams play. And as you say, when she did, a fair number of people were near her or around her taking photos. It's not quite clear whether they're actually taking photos of her or taking selfies of themselves at Wimbledon. Certainly some of it was the latter. And up leapt a royal protection officer. That's one of the security detail that will be with the Duchess at all times. And essentially goes over and says, can you stop doing that, please? And people say, look, she's a royal. This is what happens. If she wants privacy, she can go into the royal box. So again, it's that balance. And figuring out that balance over the coming months, coming years is going to be one of the challenges for Meghan, for Harry and Meghan, and for Harry, Meghan and Archie. It's a tough question, Anne-Marie, as you say, and Johnny, the, the, the reality is that um, these are public figures, and I know, you know, that I've talked to actors and other people, and they say generally they don't like when people try to sneak photos of them when they're trying to have dinner or when they're in a private setting. Mm -hmm. But here you are, surrounded by thousands of other fans uh, watching a sporting event. Um, you are a public figure and you have the extra added sort of oomph that you're publicly funded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your position is publicly funded. So it's really tough. Yeah.
Um, it so, is tough. And also, you're a member of the British royal family. I mean, that's the job that she has married into. Exactly. Right. Uh, that, that's the long and the short of it. It's very difficult, though, and there is a balance to be struck. And my presumption is they will work it out over the coming months and years. Yeah, probably. She's still a new royal, that's right? True. So they got to figure it Running out. The um, so the queen doing her, her own uh, dirty work. <laughs> this, this is a great is just story, such a actually. fabulous moment. <laughs> Isn't it a fabulous it moment? Really is. It's pure Queen Elizabeth. She's in Cambridge to open up a new agricultural institute. And part of that is planting a new tree. And as she goes towards to plant the tree, one of the people who's helping with the opening sort of suggests maybe she'd like a hand. The queen is 19. <laughs> and not quite as sprightly as she once was. And she says, very slightly grumpily, I'm perfectly capable of planting a tree <laughs> like that. Gets on with it, picks up the shovel and starts shoveling dirt over it. And that is Queen Elizabeth top to toe. Six and a half decades of service and still going strong. I love that she was like, hold my purse. Yes, yes. <laughs> but you know, there, there is a picture and, I, and I, I'm sad we don't have it, but uh, we did also have a picture showing, I believe it may have been Queen Mary uh, also in that very same spot planting a tree and the position that she's in with the shovel cool. mimics exactly uh, hmm. Queen That's Elizabeth. Perfect. Was it Was it Queen Mary, Johnny? <laughs> Just perfect. Yeah. I don't know whether it was Queen Mary yeah, or not. Yeah, I gotta but look again, that up. I saw it, it this morning. It is about these decades and decades of service and the way it goes on. And it is what rests on Queen Elizabeth's shoulders. Six and a half decades. She mm -hmm. pledged service to the nation and to the world when she was 21 years old. And she's still going strong. Hey, new royals, you might want to look at what she's doing. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Not I'm afraid to get a little dirt under her fingernails. <laughs> right. Uh, Johnny Diamond, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Anne-Marie. Thanks for that.